Yeah, and so uh, so the witch hunts, to get into that particular phase, um, which is, of course, a very dramatic phase, and I think that you mentioned, I don't know how you said it exactly, but it it, it almost loses, when it gets talked about in, in you know, history textbooks or, you know, whatever it is, it's, it loses that, um, <clears throat> it, it loses almost its historical context and the transition into capitalism is sort of not mentioned and it's not discussed as the reason why this witch, the witch hunts occurred in the first place. Um, so I guess if I could ask you this question then is what role or what was the, let me see if I can split, the, split this into two questions. The people that were um, trying to uh, to capture these women that were being accused of being witches, um, what was their purpose in doing that? In in trying to subject uh, to to label a woman as a witch and then, of course, uh, you know, uh, execute her publicly. Um, what was the purpose of that? And also, uh, what was the um, long term implications? of of the witch hunts on on women and and also on the development of of capitalism right the yeah era. yeah you know it, it's it's very 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 important and it's it's not an easy you know it's it's not there's no there's no easy answer but you know it's like uh it's like when you look at, at a city or when you look at any landscape right that uh, the further up you go, the more you get a comprehensive view. The moment you, mm-hmm. you zero in, zero in, and you, all you see is a street, but then you mm-hmm. know that when you see the street in the context of everything else, you have a much better... And I'm using it for the witch hunt because it's very, very easy, and, and some prefer that path. It's very easy to get lost into you know, a particular accusation, or a particular set of persecution, but then when you look at it as a whole, then uh, you know when you get it, um, and as a whole means uh, uh, in both in time, you know over the period, looking at say the three two centuries and a half in in which it was particularly massive, and mm-hmm. and looking at all the countries that it involved. And when you see what was the period of it returned and you put it into world history and what other things were taking place at the same time, you know, like uh, the conquest of America, like uh, the beginning of the slave trade, like the expropriation of the peasantry, you know, the, in the beginning of a capitalist system, right? Then, 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 then it begins to, to, to speak to you in a different way, right? And yeah. one of the things that I've been trying to stress over and over is that uh, in, in every place across Europe, the return begins with governments uh, passing laws. You know, for example, announcing that uh, there is a new crime, witchcraft and uh, introducing new regulation, introducing mm-hmm. new acts of government. This is very important because uh, it's from above that the people are told, watch out, there are these and these people, and they're doing... Uh, it, it's not something that is coming from below, you know? Right. And, uh, you know, the, the, there's also more than, than has gone into Caliban and the Witch. For example, one thing that um, I could have put in, but uh, is that, you know, if, if you had, for example, a poor person in the 16th and the 17th century going to a magistrate, you know, to accuse a woman of, of being a witch, that poor person would not be necessarily listened to. You know, mm-hmm. even who is being listen to, you know, who are the mm-hmm. accusers, whose accusations are, are heard, and who are those who are not heard, you know, already tells us the class nature of the witch hunt, mm-hmm. yeah. because there is immediately one of the second things that is striking is that the difference in class, you know, generally, 
between uh, the so-called witches and the accusers. So you see there's a class difference. You see that those who are accusing them are usually the people of power in their community, people who had property. Uh, so there is, there is, uh, you see that it's a persecution, that there's a very clear cut class character. Um, secondly, as of course in a gender character, and, and uh, there are different groups of women. You know, there are different groups of women who are, who are uh, you know, basically liable, vulnerable to accusation. Uh, it's not one group only. But they are common denominator. Generally, they're poor. They come from the lower classes. And uh, there are certain types of accusations that are very common. And often, they are piled up. A witch is accused of all of them at the same mm. time. So, um, you know, I, I tried in Caliban and the Witch to give a, a typology of, and uh, the typology of the witch, in my view, it's also a typology of the changes that capitalism was trying to introduce, particularly mm. in the sphere of reproduction and in the sphere of relation between women and men. No, mm. and so the, the witch is the beggar, the old woman, the beggar who is uh, not accepting that the people refuse to to support her, to give her something, you know, when mm-hmm. she's, and uh, so there's a whole attack on co- on communal mutual aid, mm. and uh, there's an attack on 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 uh, on the idea that. You know, people have a right to, to support themselves, and uh, there is a whole fear on the better off about the mm. poor. You know, poor that have been impoverished clearly, because why yeah. should there be women who don't have anything, who have to go around the neighborhood asking for some wine, some oil, some butter, you know, or living alone in poverty? There is also the women who are you know, exercising and, you know, healing, healing practices, you know, they yeah. basically, they are midwives or, or they are curing people with herbs, with sometimes with, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, charms, uh, but right. totally, many women had their own garden, they knew the properties of plants, they knew the properties of roots, flowers. And and they were they were the doctors, so these are women who have a certain power. Often they predicted the future, so there is the figure of the healer, and uh, she represents something in the community. And you know, you have an attack on popular powers. You know, you have an attack on mutual aid. You have an attack on popular powers. There is also the woman who is supposed to be promiscuous, right? Mm. And mm-hmm. this is very, very, there is a whole campaign on the question of sexuality and procreation. So I'm trying to show that the witch hunt is also a way for the state and capital to begin to exert a new type of control uh, over the body of women, control procreation, make sure that procreation is uh, productive, you know, it's... Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the women use their sexuality in a productive way, you know, to to give birth, right. to, and also sexuality has to be controlled. You know, sexuality is seen as a, something that can subvert social order. It can subvert the, you know, people's relation to work. It can subvert the class differences. Um, so the the body of women begins to be portrayed as something that is dangerous, you know. It's mm-hmm. a place of dangers that have to be neutralized. So I'm saying that uh, out of the witch hunt comes a, a whole new regime, you know, a whole new disciplinary regime that, you know, it's clearly what becomes the norm um, for women in capitalism. And, mm-hmm. and I, I said that there is, you can see that there is an important difference between the image of the woman that uh, is as described 
before the witch hunt in the popular literature and the image of the woman that, uh, as it appears in the literature of the 17th, 18th century, you know, after the witch hunt, there is a defeat in between. The, the witch hunt is a, is a defeat on the power of women, is an attack on the social power of women, and it's also a preparation of the woman to, be, to take on particular task, you know, she becomes the unpaid worker, she becomes you know, the one confined to the work of reproduction and right. she's the one who is portrayed as not having much reason being, you know, weaker you know, reason in power and needing to be controlled by men mm-hmm. so it's really, I mean the witch hunt is really a, a, a the condition, the step towards uh, you know, the creation of the new sexual division of labor.